Hi everybody, today we're going to be talking about lesson 90, adding and subtracting whole numbers and decimals together. So let's go ahead and look at example number one here. In example one, in an, a science experiment, the scientist placed food at the end of a short maze and placed a mouse at the beginning of the maze. The scientist timed how fast the mouse reached the food. The scientist ex repeated the experiment three times. The mouse's times were 6.2 seconds, 6.25 seconds, and 3 seconds. What was the total time of the three trials? So we need to line up our decimals. When we add and subtract decimals, it is very important that your decimals are in a straight line so that your ones place is lined up, your tens place is lined up, your hundreds place is lined up, and on the other side of the decimal, your tenths place is lined up, your hundredths place is lined up, your thousandths place is lined up, and so on. So let's take a look at these numbers. Okay, first we have 6.2 seconds. So 6.2. We have 4.25. 4. .25, 4 Point two five, and we have three. So let me get these out of the way really fast. Okay, so we see that we have our numbers lined up. We have our ones lined up in a nice neat row, our tenths, and a one hundredth over here. Now the easiest thing to do is to use zero as a placeholder. We know that 6.20 and 6.2 is the same thing, but it will help me add that tenths column or that hundredths column if I have zeros there as reminders. So we're going to put 3.00 so that now every column has a number for every number, a nice little grid. We're adding. And just like when we add whole numbers and we start with the ones place, we always start on the furthest place to the right. So 0, 0 plus 5 is 5. 2 plus 2 plus 0 is 4. The decimal comes straight down that column and gets put in there. 6 plus 4 is 10. Plus 3 is 13. So my total is 13.45 seconds. Okay? It is critical that your decimal points line up in a straight row. Neatness is very important for this assignment. All right, let's move on to example two. All right, a computer that began a complex task eight minutes ago needs 24.6 minutes altogether to complete the task. In how many minutes will the task be complete? So here I have my total. Okay, in in how many minutes tells me that I'm going to subtract. So I start with my total, 24.6 minutes. It began eight minutes ago, so I line up the eight is a whole number. It is in the ones place. Okay, so then I put my decimal, and now I subtract. Well, I'm going to put a zero here, just to remind me that 6 minus 0 is 6. I cannot do 4 minus 8, so I have to borrow, and of course you will show your work. 14 minus 8 is 6. Bring down the 1. The computer needs 16.6 .6 minutes left in order to complete its work. Okay, notice again, even when subtracting, my decimal points are lined up in a nice, neat column so that my tenths place, my ones place, and my tens place are all lined up together. Okay, all right, example three. So which digit in 4.65 is in the same place as the 2 in 12. Okay, well, it's easiest when looking at numbers like this to just line them up. So here I have 4.65. 
and then I have the number 12, okay? When we have a whole number like this, kind of think of like pin the tail on the donkey or pin the decimal point on the whole number. The decimal point goes after the whole number. Whether there's anything after that decimal point or not doesn't matter. The decimal point still goes after the whole number. So if I was to put my whole number here and then line up my 12, I want to know which digit is in the same place as the two. Well, here's the two, these are in the same place. So four is in the same place. Okay, again, you have to line up those decimals so that they are in a nice, neat column. Okay, that's it for today. Go on to your lesson practice, and we will go over this next week. Good luck.